uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so today we will be discussing uh, the solution of this design problem okay actually this design problem is asked by iit kanpur for a uh, project project associate position okay associate position uh, for analog rf ic design okay and actually i got shortlisted uh, for this position uh, so let's uh, let's see uh, how i solve this uh, design problem okay so uh, you can see uh, the design like we have to design a single stage op amp and the structure will be looking like this right uh, this is our structure this is a single stage op amp we all know and uh, we have vdd of 1.8 volt the cl this cl will be 10 picofarad and the loop gain okay loop gain loop gain so basically in normal design they are they are like uh, they give normally uh, gain gain bandwidth product okay but in this problem they give uh, loop gain okay not the gain bandwidth product and they also give that uh, minus 3 db closed loop bandwidth okay this is 100 megahertz and the common mode rejection ratio at dc will be 80 db okay and uh, hot and uh, they are given uh, so so we have to design this op amp right and then we have to make this amplifier circuit right where the rf this is our feedback resistance and let's say this is our input resistance r so these two are uh, two both are 50 kilo ohms okay so we have to design this first and we have only this current source from outside okay we can take that and if we need uh, like other blocks we have to design from like from ourselves right uh so let's say what are the questions huh? so we, we we need to find the open loop gain and the phase closed loop gain and the phase uh, we have to indicate the minus 3db bandwidth and so on okay so there are so many questions so you, you can see that right and we have to need uh, we need to find the like you know, what is the input common mode range uh, positive and negative of this open loop differential amplifier okay and finally we have to tabulate the gm gds cgs if we like v over drive for all these transistors okay so this was the design problem and they given me uh, like they had given me like almost one week okay to solve this uh, to design this uh, circuit okay so let's uh, see how i solved okay so actually i start with that okay so theoretical design parameter so we have given these two circuit right we have given uh, these two circuits uh okay okay so 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 the differential amplifier in figure two this is figure two can be represented by the following so we can make this as a overall gm and r out right like there there will be a gain that is that will be gm times r out right so we can make a block like this okay so this is our let's say va this va okay so this va will be our this va and this vb will be this vb right and we can make a block like this overall gm into r out so r out is nothing but uh, on over g out so zero okay so i have i have written in this manner so the overall gain will be here gm by zero right that is nothing but gm into r out so and i and we also know that the overall gm of this differential pair uh, single stage op amp will be nothing but the gm of this m1 and m2 right so we know that the overall gm will be nothing but gm1 and these two are identical m1 and m2 we know that and the g out will be nothing but the parallel combination of this uh, rds of uh, like we, we know that like yeah, n mos and p mos right we know that r out will be nothing but r o p parallel r o n so if we convert this uh, into uh, conductance output conduction so g o will be nothing but in series so this will be g let's say g uh, g n plus g p like the con uh, trans uh, output uh, output conductance of 
each uh, MOSFET, right? PMOS, this is for NMOS and this is for PMOS. So, I have, I have written here. So, this will be our, this will be our uh, overall capital J and this will be our overall uh, capital GO that will be our uh, output conductance. So, this will be our overall output conductance and this will, this will be our overall trans conductance, okay? So now I post, uh, so we know that M1 and M2 will be identical and M3, M4 will be identical, right? And so I have written also clearly that the GM12 will be the transconductance of M12 and G GO12 will be the output conductance of M M12 and the small GO34 will be output conductance of M3 and M4. Okay. So I have written here. Okay. Now so how can we do that so we know that to find the overall gm what we do what we do we short circuit the output node to the ground and find what will be the small signal i out and we take then i out divided by v in so here this is our differential pair so the v in will be nothing but our v a minus v b right small signal v a minus v b so so if we calculate this so i have I have mentioned that so we have a uh, short circuit to the ground and we have to find the small signal i out and we have to take v a minus v b that is nothing but our v d right so i have uh, v d here will be v a minus v b okay so so we can uh, find the overall gm and to find the r out what we do we do we apply a stage voltage at the at this node and we find what is the current coming out of this voltage source and then we take the ratio small signal vx over ix then we can find the overall r out so here i have calculated the overall transconductance uh, uh, sorry the output conductance not transconductance this will be the overall output conductance so this is the output conductance right then uh, so this this i like i make this section one okay then i make a another section that is section b now to find the loop gain so to find the loop gain what we do we cut the loop let's say let there will be like this okay so let's say okay so we cut the loop and we transfer in this loop and uh, and check what is the voltage appearing at this node right then we take v test v return v return by v test right so this is how i have drawn here so we are cutting the node at like at this node and we are applying a v test here and trans transferring this node we are getting this node so this will be our v return right so we then finally take v test like v return over v test so that we can get we can get the we can get the loop gain right so v return divided by v test will be a loop gain so just this is normal kcl and kvl things so you can see that right so, so this will be our loop gain so again i am telling to find loop gain what we do we cut cut the loop at any point and then we we go we go uh, like around the loop and coming back to the cutting node like what we have cut right then the point uh, we mark as a v return okay so the voltage v return divided by v test will be our loop gain we know that right so this is how we can find the loop gain so to find the loop gain uh, and we are we are not putting the uh, absolute value of this r so 50k and 50k we are denoting as a r okay so if we do that if we do that and there will be cl present right so if we do that we will be having a uh, expression like equation like this okay and this minus sign is denoting our the circuit is in negative feedback okay so this will be our first expression let's say this will be our a okay now now we have to find the minus 3db bandwidth like closed loop right closed loop bandwidth so how we can find that we know that we know that the unity gain frequency of the loop gain is the minus 3 degree bandwidth of the closed loop so this is very important conclusion okay 
so the unity gain frequency of the loop gain so if we find the unity gain frequency of this loop gain then it will be our minus 3 db bandwidth of the closed loop system okay closed loop system means uh, this okay this is the closed loop system so now so i mentioned that the loop gain where omega equals omega minus 3 db will be our one right in linear unity gain bandwidth means unity gain bandwidth means let's say so this is our bode plot so this is our unity gain frequency right or unity gain bandwidth so if we have this and this is our omega so this will be our and this is our 0 db right so 0 db means in linear this will be gain of 1 right like 20 log 1 will be 0 db right so i write in this way and then finally doing that i am getting this expression okay so we get two expressions okay and and because we find that because this loop gain is given and this uh, three, uh, closed loop 3 db frequency is also given okay and uh, according to our specification so our loop gain okay loop gain let's say what will be the what is the value given so our loop gain is uh, greater than 40 db right so i have okay okay so 40 db means 100 in linear okay so uh, from the equation uh, uh, from the equation a we can write this equation again right and the, from the equation b we can write this actually our uh, uh, 100 like megahertz right the 3 db closed loop frequency is 100 megahertz so we can write this now to like we have to solve this equation to get the overall gm and overall geo and all other parameters are given like r value is given cl value is given and etc okay so from from this two equation i found now uh, solving equation c and d we can find the gm and geo okay what i have said uh, like uh, so then so solving this i get geo as uh, 52.83 uh, micro siemens and overall gm i got uh, 12.566 milli siemens okay so solving these two equations i got these two values okay now so so our differential amplifier will be look like this like the following right so then uh, i make a, another section this is section c so i take another uh, assumption that i have a silu rate of 100 volt per microsecond okay this is uh, like i deliberately choose that right uh, to get the i not value i not means the only the source current like only the uh, only the current this current right so to, to choose that i have take another assumption that our slew rate is uh, 100 uh, volt per microsecond okay so we know that uh, slew rate of this uh, amplifier like single stage amplifier will be nothing but i naught by cl okay and cl is given so we can directly find i naught so the i naught is coming as on milliampere okay then i make another section this is section d so they have uh, said that uh, i can use 180 uh, nanometer uh, cmos process okay so for that there are some parameters like this okay so for nmos the tox is 4.1 into 10 power 9 and the mu n is uh, 273 centimeter square per uh, volt dot second uh, whatever the unit is and the threshold voltage is 0 0.36 volt okay for nmos and again pmos there is same tox okay and the threshold voltage is minus 0 0.39 and there is uh, mu naught okay so uh, according to that i have calculated these values okay so we know cox is nothing but uh, epsilon naught into epsilon r divided by tox so i am getting as this this value okay i am getting these values and mu1 is uh, we, we we have seen that this will be like this and mu p will be like like this right so if i if i put this i am having almost around mu1 cox is 235 like 230 to 235 uh, micro ampere per volt square and mu p cox around 100 100 micro ampere per volt square okay 
so and we have written that uh, uh, vtn and vtp okay so now i have i have to put this right and i have neglect uh, all the parasitic capacitance and body effect okay now to find the gm on we know that gm on will be like like we know gm one of the formula is this right o into id mu on c of w over l so from here from here we have to calculate uh, we have to calculate the w over w by l ratio okay for every mosfet okay so i i did the same and we know that at bias condition at, at bias condition uh, all of the mosfet carrying same current that is nothing but i not by 2 every mosfet right so i have i have written in this way the id of 1 2 3 4 will be the same then that will be nothing but i not by 2 and the uh, i 5 6 will be the same and this will be nothing but i not by 2 and i not we have find that on milli ampere right so so according to this formula i have i have found the w by l like this okay this is what uh, uh, w by l for n mos like differential n mos n moses differential pair n moses then uh, okay uh, okay ha huh? okay so then then i have to choose the icmr icmr plus and icmr minus so i have uh, take i have take i have taken 1.6 as a uh, common mode rejection like the upper limit and the lower limit is 0 0.8 okay so now we have to make all the mosfet uh, mass operate in saturation right so for saturation we know that the vds will be nothing uh, greater equals to vgs minus vtn for this all mosses for this all n mosses and for p mosses the vsd will be greater equals to vsg minus mod of vtb like right for uh, m3 and m4 okay so what i did uh, so 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 how i calculate all the bias point okay so the, you, 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 you can uh, see it okay you can see it how i calculate this so now we like you have to calculate this node voltages so that so that all the mosfet uh, operates in in saturation okay so you can you can see these steps okay now so finally uh, by solving uh, uh, like like solving this i have i am getting the v bias as 1.1748 volt like the input v bias means the input bias right what we have given in the differential pair okay okay so this v bias will be 1.17 1.17 volts so for that and and then we get uh, now we have to find the w by l ratio of 3 and 4 so we we have uh, we have got uh, the w by l is uh, 105 okay by solving these equations and we get uh, the uh, gm as this okay this is nothing but a formula okay if we if we have w by l then we can directly found the gm as we have already found the i id right id through all the mosfets now uh, okay now this is for m5 okay m5 in the in m5 is our this right this quantity so this is our m5 right so for m5 we have taken like uh, we have to make the vds will be greater equal to vgs minus vtn right so if we do that uh, i am getting vg as on voltage okay so now if we get the vg then we can directly found the uh, w over l ratio for this mosfets right like there is another mosfet here another mosfet here so we can find these are almost identical okay so if we like these are identical so we have chosen so the ratio w over l will be uh, 22 and we can similarly find the gm of these two of these two mosfets so this is coming like that now uh, we have to find the lambda value because actually i have simulated the circuit in the uh, multism live right multism right multism live actually i haven't any access on cadence or any other lt spice 
so i choose this software so to make this software like the circuit correct we need a lambda value okay so the lambda is nothing but we know that uh, lambda is the uh, channel length modulation coefficient and this will be nothing but uh, rds into id right so so i have made this uh, i have i have to calculate this right so i have calculated the lambda will be uh, 0 0.0528 volts inverse right now uh, from our specification uh, cmrr will be nothing but uh, 100 db and that is nothing but 10000 right so and we know that the cmrr is nothing but the mod of uh, differential gain divided by common mode gain right so i have i have done this and then then i calculated uh, the what value i calculate we calculate the lambda of 5 and 6 okay so this will be nothing but 0 0.1543 volts inverse and we also find that the output conductance of this uh, uh, mosfet 5 and 6 okay from this uh, from this cmr specifications and okay okay what will be the uh, uh, the uh, common mode gain common mode gain will be nothing but this right this is the expression for common mode gain gm G, overall gm by gm3 divided by 1 plus 2 overall gm into ro56 right and the differential gain is nothing but gm by g already we have find that so then and then our final design is almost ready right like ready we have to simu now simulate it so these are uh, these are my final uh, uh, final uh, critical points okay w by l vdd i not gm1 like uh, transconductors and uh, uh, transconductors and the uh, output conductance and the uh, uh, lambda values okay and the, these are the critical operating uh, points or like voltages okay now i have simulated this in i have previously told uh, multism life so this is my circuit and i have set uh, all these values in the uh, multism okay multism life so this this was my final circuit okay and then i simulated and the output is coming almost similarly because uh, the multism light uh, produce almost uh, almost ideal result okay actually this is not cadence right so the uh, and the operating point i i have chosen uh, like this almost getting the same okay almost getting the same okay you can see that right then uh, i have simulated the frequency responses okay and then closed loop frequency response okay this this was for open loop okay and this was for closed loop so closed loop we can see the bandwidth is almost uh, coming hot they have uh, on wanted right 100 megahertz so now so we can see that uh, okay so actually this is these are the like all the simulations okay no nothing to say much okay no need to say much so you can you can the approach is the important so i have designed uh, within a week and i have an interview uh, i have to explain how i got these results and how i choose this choose these values okay so these are my tabulations okay and uh, i i have also uh, shared uh, shared them the result is coming from simulation and the theoretical is almost uh, same okay so these are the these are the conclusions okay open loop and closed loop and all, all the things okay and then i finally uh, after some days i got the offer from uh, imon mollon sir the professor at iit kanpur okay so this is the offer mail okay so actually uh, to make this uh, session is that how to solve a design problem okay so here uh, one thing is important they have given loop gain okay not the gain bandwidth product so you can approach actually they uh, actually i am thinking i not i not be got selected but actually i selected okay got selected uh, so actually they have uh, checked my approach approaches like this loop gain how i got this okay and how to solve these equations and so on so actually i will be sharing this document uh, to all of you uh, in, in the linkedin okay so if it helps you please uh, give your valuable feedbacks okay thank you